I'm going to give a really quick sneak peek at the chat GPT desktop app. I just had it flash on my screen here to download the chat GPT app on Mac. I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview on what it actually looks like. So within the settings, there's all the information that you would expect. There's the personalization that you can go ahead and turn on. Say if you want your custom GPT instructions, you can go ahead and plug them in there. You can also decide whether you want to use memory or not. You have controls over your data, whether you want to archive your chats, all of that good stuff. Now, the other thing that's nice is you're able to set your keyboard shortcut. It defaults to option spacebar on Mac. So this is what it looks like. Once you run that command, and you can run this anywhere so long as you have this running in the background. As soon as you click option spacebar, you have this pop up almost like Alfred, and you're able to upload a file, a photo, take a screenshot of a particular window that you have open, or you can take a photo using the camera on your computer as well. Really nice, you can pass that in and then you can just type in your message. You can imagine in a coding context, you have your VS code open, you're stuck on a problem, you click option space, you say, I'm stuck, I don't know what this function does, or help me resolve the bug or whatever it is. You can plug it in and just pass in the context of the image. Now there is also the ability to select different voices here. So I'll just show you a few of them here. If you just go ahead, and select the voice, you can click around. It's great to meet you. How's your day going? Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you. Hello, I'm really excited about teaming up with you. Hey there. I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. Once you have that selected, that will be the voice that is how it responds back to you, just like if you've used the ChatGPT app. Now, in terms of it actually working, I did try a number of times. I've tried basically every different functionality and feature and different model to try and actually make the request work. And it doesn't quite work yet. I'm inclined to think that this was maybe a mistake where I had that modal pop up to download the app because I'm not able to actually use it. But I'll just demonstrate it here. If you click on this button here, you have this interface where you can go ahead and talk to ChatGPT almost like you would within the ChatGPT app. But as you see here, the connection failed. But I just wanted to really give you a quick overview so you could also try it this way. This is a different way on if you just want to record a message in where you could send it to the model and get a text response back. And then you'll also see here that it does transcribe it. When I go to actually submit this message, you'll see that it says invalid request. But you can also add attachments here like you typically would. I think the biggest feature of this new ChatGPT app is going to be that global option space command where you'll be able to just attach files, photos, screenshots, or take a photo of where you are or what have you and be able to pass in that context really easily. You don't need to have a device where you're holding it to your computer screen. You don't need to take a screenshot and drag and copy and paste it into a different chat bot or a chat interface that you're using. You're just going to be able to natively do that on your operating system. I think that's going to unlock a ton of different use cases. Obviously, this is a coding channel primarily, but it doesn't necessarily need to be coding, right? It could be an educational use case. Maybe you're stuck on a problem with homework that you're doing and you just go ahead, click that option space bar. You take a screenshot of whatever's on your screen and then you send that to ChatGPT and you say, I'm stuck on this particular problem. Help me solve it. While this isn't a full demo of the ChatGPT desktop app, I just wanted to give a quick snapshot on what I have access to. If anyone does actually have access to this, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, until the next one.